So Felipe, thanks for hopping on here. Um, you are the founder and owner of Husto, and we're just going to have a conversation today about, um, you know, your referral program, your business, how you came up with it. And yeah, we'll see where the conversation goes. So I guess, can you first just kind of give us, um, a understanding of, of your business and what you do exactly? Yeah. Yeah. So who it's uh, legal tech or some call it law tech. So we serve uh, law services to consumers, to final consumers. And our main goal is to fight against bureaucracy and corruption in Latin America. So I don't know if you have heard but Latin America is full of these kind of cases of abuse from the public and private entities against consumers and citizens. And our goal is to use technology in order to level that, that situation uh, in favor of, the, of, the, of our customers. So until now, we were, we were founded two years ago and we, are, we have a variety of products such as traffic claim tickets. I don't know if you don't, if you know or have heard about um, do not pay in the US. So we are like the equivalent to do not pay for Latin America. Okay. Uh, our main product is traffic ticket fighting. So in Colombia, only 2 million traffic tickets are imposed every year. And those 2 million are completely illegal because they're taken with, with cameras when you are driving and they cannot identify you as the driver. So they are not really um, fines. They are just, I am not saying in English, sorry for this, but there are just notifications that the authorities are allowed to do to you to go in front of a judge and present yourself in order to be judged or hear in a hearing, in a public okay. hearing. And here in Colombia, they, 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 these entities have been abusing for years of this, of, of this law. And what they do is that they put you the ticket, but they never notify you or they will never send you a, a, an email or a, or, a, or a letter through mail. So you will never know and then you just go in and now you are, you are guilty of it when, when you never go through that due process of, of that, right? Sure. So, so what we do is that we have developed some RPAs and some systems with a lot of integration that what we do is that we take care. So the, 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 the value of the fine here of the ticket, it's about $300 for each time you speak. And with us, you pay us $50 and we take charge of everything and we erase that ticket from your history. That's wow. like our, our main product. Then we have other kind of products like this, like fighting against uh, airplane tickets claims. Whenever okay. your plane gets delayed, whenever your your baggage gets lost or gets stolen, we also fight against uh, credit bureaus abuses. So, for example, you never authorize it uh, your cell phone provider in order to report you if you didn't pay. And here, because I don't know, a bad, bad at law, in order to be reported to these bureaus, you need to give the authorization whenever you acquire the service. So what these guys do is that they're a mess. They are completely a mess. They have very bad like processes. And whenever you don't pay, you have like the law says that you have six months to pay that debt. And here they, they report you the next day you didn't pay. So what we do is that we help people with technology to find that report and to take it out of the of that of the bureau. So that's what we do. We fight for for citizens' rights here, and we're planning to go to Mexico and Argentina next next semester. And yeah, that's that's that, what we do. That's awesome. Uh, how, how did you come up with the idea? My, were you uh, my, were you a victim of one of these claims? Yeah, like my partner is a lawyer, but he hates okay. law. And I'm an, I'm a business designer. I studied industrial design and then I went to Italy and did a master in, in, in business design and design thinking. And I have always been like very, 
very pissed off because of of abuses here in Latin America. Sure. So, and my previous uh, business was a web to print service here in Colombia. So I learned a lot of technology, a lot of marketing, a lot of of product design, and we got together and we decided to fight this cause because we really wanted like i was sick and tired of putting ink in paper that was very boring for me it was cool the first two years but then i felt like i was not giving like any value to society with that i was just contributing to 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 messing up the environment with paper and ink. Sure. so right. so i left that job i left that we closed that company and i started with Husto. cool and how big is it today so right now we are selling 50k at this moment we are taking care of about 1500 new cases each month okay and we're growing about 20 percent to 25 percent month each month that's awesome and what what are the um what are you guys doing for marketing mainly it's um google ads it's the best channel for us okay like it works very good because people feel when people feel that they are being abused by an entity or they got a traffic ticket they go to right. google and they find proactively how to how to solve that problem and because of my previous job and now i have studied a lot like i'm i'm i'm, I'm pretty good in in google ad search campaigns but it also happened and i think you can imagine that if i save you from a traffic ticket you will be willing to refer me to your friends right sure. and, yeah. and if it's a case of abuse then whenever some other kind of entity like for example other product that we have is fighting for the utilities how do you say yeah like the light the the, the light or or water uh, account each month like people here they just get a, very 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 rough by the entities that do this so one month you get a 50 dollar uh, account to pay and the next one you will get 150 dollars three times the price so wow. what is starting to happen is that people are referring and are talking us as, uh, about us to the to the public in social media we are becoming what we say and we want to become it's the first consumer hero company in in, in colombia so we're starting to have a lot of referrals also like and for that we use your system right now we we launch a campaign i don't want to go like very fast on that but we launch a campaign with referral hero when if you have your you want your first traffic ticket to be hot you can subscribe to that to that campaign and we will give you a 50 percent discount and after that for each friend of you that that fights a traffic ticket, we will give you around five dollars in credits for our next or for huh. your next orders. Okay. So, so people are always trying. Although our price is very low for a legal service, people are always trying to get that first order discount, and for that they subscribe to the referral hero plan to that to, sure. to the to the campaign. Right. Uh, and what what you have been seeing is that people are are sharing a lot of this in facebook and in in i think whatsapp is one of the best channels where people share it the most here in latin america because like 98 percent of people have access to whatsapp here so yeah we're starting to see also in twitter a lot of mentions that come from from your system because we we find we we search for those mentions and they show up with the message that we have predefined uh, for Twitter. So, so yeah, referring has also become very important for us. And we do some Facebook ads and we do some some display ads. But the thing with them is that you cannot, uh, how to say that, uh, you cannot push into people to fight a traffic ticket if they don't have one, right? Sure. So, right. Yeah. So that's really hard. I was just, uh, I'm curious, is it when people go to, to Google and they like search for a solution to this problem, is it already too late for you to get involved, like your service to get involved? Or um, do you need to like reach them earlier, like in the, you know, user journey or customer journey where like, 
before they get the ticket. No, that's the best. The best moment is that one. When they get the ticket, the first thing they do is that they go and search online, how can I take down this ticket? Because okay. there's been a lot of news about how they are unconstitutional and how you can fight them, but no one is gonna go through that process themselves because they know these entities are powerful, that like the that, 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 that traffic entities are powerful and they're going to make you lose time. So sure. what they do is that they find for a professional. But the thing is that the other, our competitor, our more, our most direct competitor are what I call ambulance chasers that are like these cheap lawyers that you can find in streets near the, sure. near the traffic offices. And people don't trust on these guys. Right now we have reviews, we have more than 8,000 customers, we have, review, we have referral programs, things like that that, ha that make us win on almost every time everyone searches for 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 that on google we have like a 98 percent of of impression share at this moment okay so so yeah that's the that's the best moment and that's the best other moment, things yeah yeah another thing that we launched like six months ago is that we created a tool a tech tool in our page that allows you to go and find if you have any traffic tickets so we scrap the the entities websites and we go to like here is like by states right so if you give me your id number in my page my robot will go to all the entities and we will find your traffic tickets and if you subscribe to a service that for now is free we're going to charge for it later but for now you can use it for free then we have what we call a sentinel a traffic ticket sentinel so so this robot is every month is searching for tickets for you and if we mm. find one for you then we then we're going before in the user journey, even before you acknowledge that you have a ticket, we're going to tell you that you have a ticket. Hmm. Right. Same thing, yeah, we're sure. doing, same thing we're doing with airplane uh, complaints. Like a lot of complaints here is because uh, uh, um, like, for example, American Airlines decides that they're going to delay one flight and they're going to put people of that flight in the next flight. And they never tell you. When you are in the airport and you're going to board the plane, they will tell you, hey, Lamar, sorry, we're sorry. You have to wait six hours until the next plane because, so people have a right to complain if the delay is more than three hours. Uh, and what we are doing right now is that we're using the flight trackers and we're scrapping them to, uh, to tell you before you leave for the airport that that flight has been canceled so you, and that you will be in the next flight. So we are also developing with our tech team these kinds of tools that help people like to love, make people love us and use us even before they face the problem. Sure. So, so yeah, that's what we do. That's great. I mean, it sounds like there's a lot of utility in, in what you guys are developing. Yeah, it has been very hard. A lot has been done manually until now, but we are launching new RPAs and new robots every week that help that help us like do everything in a much more technological way. Hmm. So um, I guess going back to, you know, marketing a little bit and your referral, the referral program, why was it just an organic process that you decided to, um, you know, look into referral programs in general or like what, what came about with that and why did you uh, find, or how did you find referral hero? Yeah. Like, we have an advisor, he's like uh, XYZ uh, entrepreneur here that it's called, um, the, the company is called Tora. And what these guys do is that they find, um, they fight against uh, identity supplantation and, and, and fraud here in the, in the region. And Daniel Bilbao, who is uh, the founder, he uses your services and he, he showed it to me, she, he showed the, serv the, the, the tool to me first. And I tried to use it like I will say a year ago, it was like summer last year. And it looked to me a little bit complicated, not about the, not, not how to use the tool, but how to, to create the campaign that will be sure because I was very uh, skeptical about if people were going to share this and 
for us, like economies are very different. And for us, $99, I think that we have to pay for the service, something like that. It was expensive back then because we were sure. selling something like $2,000 a month. So for us, well, it was really expensive. Uh, so what we did is that I did, I don't remember, with a WordPress plugin that allows you to share things, I, I did like a little test and it worked. Like I could see that people were sharing it. Uh, but that was a crap because I couldn't see if people were being referred, if, the, if, if it was being shared, where was it being shared, how many times it was being shared. And I knew that your tool could give me all that information. So like two months after the experiment, I just launched it with your tool, I think in October. Yeah, so it was referred and I did some tests with WordPress uh, with no cost, with a free plugin. And as, as I saw some impact in and some sharing, then I decided to pay for the tool. And you've, at this point, you've run a couple a couple campaigns, haven't you? Like with Referral Hero? Two. And one, okay. is, one, one, one is steady, like one is permanent in our site right now. And it's the, okay. the traffic ticket, the traffic ticket campaign, it's permanent, it's always on. And can you uh, walk me through the like user journey for the referral program and you know how how did you come up with that? Yeah. Let me show you. Can I show you screen my screen? Yes. So yep. so the no the normal process is that when you come online here you're going to let me minimize this. Here you are going to fill up the, the information about your traffic ticket and your personal data and you're going to start the process. But what we have done is that here we have the campaign, right? So if you subscribe, you will get a 50% discount on the first uh, on, on your first order, and then you will get 25,000 pesos, which is around five dollars of of a, a coupon whenever you refer me to a friend, and that friend uh, fights a traffic ticket with us. So we have all the integration done at the beginning when we launch, we only give this benefit to the users that what it was the 50% because we didn't have the integration with our confirmation page. So we were not able to understand when a friend uh, pirated a traffic ticket with us. But now we have the, 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 it was actually, that was really easy to do. The integration with the confirmation page was super easy to do for us. Okay. Okay. So, so basically, yeah, so they essentially sign up on this page, but the, the reward isn't unlocked until they hit that confirmation page later in your funnel. The second reward, the number two reward, the reward okay. number one, it's uh, once you, you, you sign up and you confirm your email with the referral hero email, then we use referral hero also to give you the coupon. So we created a list of coupons in WooCommerce and we upload it to referral hero. We normally do a batch of 1,000 coupons and we upload them to Retrial Hero. So whenever they confirm the, the email, they get a, a, a welcome email from Retrial Hero that, that includes the coupon, right? Got it. So yep. th th that's how we use it. And that was very, very nice to, like how we were able to do it, it was staying up a day or, or a couple of hours. We couldn't sure. do that with the WooCommerce options, with the WordPress options that we had, it was not, very easy to do all that process. That would have mean an integration with our CRM and it was very complex. This was super, super, super easy, okay? And then we have a competition that whoever uh, refers the most, the most in the next uh, 30 days gets uh, a $100 coupon in gas. But yeah, that's, that's the campaign and that's how we run it. Okay, so is it and is it three total rewards then, in a sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Yeah. Yeah. And why? I mean, I mean, I can kind of tell, but just just to summarize, I mean, how did you come up with those rewards? I mean, was there a lot of discussion around your team on like what to choose and like what would motivate people? Um, I mean, have you experimented with any other types of rewards, or have these all just worked right from the start? I, I don't remember really well because like I, I was the technical guy when we implemented these. Okay. Then there was a, a girl that is not not working with us anymore who decided the terms of the of the when I, I gave the, like the tech, like the futures that 
the tool had. Then she defined this for me and she told me, we should do it this way, right? I want to, to get this, like, improve this a little bit during these months because I know that the, the, when, when I went inside Repel here on, and I started seeing for the results of how many times people share that, like, we never put the effort in doing very nice emails. We haven't done that yet, like putting nice emails for them or trying to do some good storytelling for these. It was just like, let's try this and it has been working and we haven't like paid much attention to it because we are full of other problems right now, right? <laughs> but, but yeah, this is how we launch it and it has been kept that way since that moment. Cool, cool. And, and then, then is the traffic that's being driven to that to this page right here that you're on is that like do you are you driving actual ad traffic or is this just organic traffic people are coming like, like stumbling across it on your website ads whenever you try like like i'm just tumbar photo multa right that's what people look we are the first ones right like for all of those okay. we are the first one right the somebody's like five traffic ticket no the, the pelea in, uh, apelar multa. And basically that page that you just showed us then is the landing page that people land on after they come. Yeah, that's okay. the landing page. They, they come directly to that page. And okay, we also nice. have like organic positions and things like that. Referral Hero doesn't show a lot of traffic as a source, like that campaign as, as itself doesn't show a lot of traffic as its source, but it, it's I believe, I'm not very sure about this, but I believe that it's a good brand like effort because people are talking about it. Yeah, we have 760 subscribers and we, we it's like each week we see some, some sales coming from referrals, from referral links, right? So what we like, here is the sharing stats. I don't remember how to see that. This is, I think it's in analytics. Yep. So, yeah, like this has going, been going down, but if you see WhatsApp is the main channel where people most like sure. share about it. But we like this and we see like a break even point in sales. A couple of months that we, that we, estimated the, the sales coming from it and uh, and the spend we do on the on the tool so we said okay this is this is being shared it has been shared multiple times sure uh, and we like that like we need people to have tools to share and talk about us yeah absolutely um so what i mean uh, as far as the goals of the campaign have you set any or are you going to just still in the, you know, the launching phase of this and like working out the kinks and getting more familiar with it and seeing what's possible? No, I think I, I, I absolutely think that we need to like, we don't have a marketing team. That's, that's funny, but I'm the only one doing marketing and I spend like, I don't know, no more than 10 hours a month on it. And sure. Google ads is like very steady and very safe. But for sure, on this year, we really want to put together a marketing team for, for, for the company. And once we have that, that guy or that girl, we would like them to, to improve this a little bit. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Have, you, have you been able to, um, I guess, see any increase in revenue or in growth because of the tool? like measurable beyond beyond just the the shares here are you tracking any other, like are the source do you are you tagging sources yeah but it's not very easy for me to see in analytics the sales coming from referral hero i don't know why we cannot see them like if i go into my analytics and find you a source and medium we have also a lot of problems tracking conversions sources okay and we're working on that right now actually but i know about the sales that we have because i get your emails like i get your emails whenever uh, uh not a subscriber how is that you call those the 
the referrals, right? We had right, sure, twenty-five referrals, sure, right. So, so we're tracking that, and and what also what's also important here for us is like we're going to the through the VC fundraising process, okay, and we don't. We prefer not having it perfectly done, but saying that we do these kind of things, my partner, who, which is the CEO and the, the, the guy in charge of fundraising, he finds a lot of value on this, like telling people, because although our marketing campaigns have like a, a 8x return on the investment that we do on, on, on Google Ads, which for me is good. Right. Uh, like, these guys like Y Combinator and that they don't like you to be only like paid marketing, right? Sure. So these kinds of things, they, they find it very attractive. Uh, but I know we need to improve this a lot. Like we really need to improve our marketing. Sure. Yeah. But I guess this is just like, this is like, you know, a cherry on top of your Google ads, right? This just like helps, it helps compound the effort of the Google ads even more. Yep, because people can participate in this. Yeah, um, and that and the thing of just because of the of the functionality that you have that allows me to whenever you sign up to this program to get the coupon for the first set for your first order in a way that we can follow up and invite you to share about it uh, our about to share like socially share our business. I find a lot of value on that. Right. Okay. So it's also like kind of like a, a lead capture form. Yeah. Plus the referral aspect of it then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. And if you see the messages that, that we have uh, set it up here, they are like your message translated to Spanish. It's like that uh, the standard message that come out of the box with your standard with, they don't have any design. They don't have any storytelling. So, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm putting together a backlog for the new marketing team, and for sure, I would like them to improve this a lot. Hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you think is um, the most important aspect to the to your referral program? The functionalities of how how you integrate with different social medias, social networks, for us. I think that's one of the important things. Like, even though Facebook doesn't allow anymore to set the message for 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 referring or any of that, I sure. think that being able that part, whenever people want to share and they can see all all these me social media, including WhatsApp, is very important. Uh, that's very cool. And another part that it's important, and if not, maybe we have shut we have had shut up this campaign is how you track the referrals and how easy it is to to integrate it to your to your confirmation page right it's just one little code that your engineer has to to add to the confirmation page and there sure. you go you get the subscribe the, the referral notification right. right yeah absolutely so um, if you think about it our with two with two orders that we sell we get no, with three orders that we sell from referrals each month, we get it paid, right? So I always see like three like three conversions coming from it each month. So for me, it's it's a safe cost, right? It's, I'm not losing money here, those sure, nine million dollars sure. here. But if I would, if if not if nothing had uh, notified me about those referrals, maybe I would say, yeah, nice, two hundred and seventy subscribers. But how many people have but from this because analytics is not showing a lot of traffic coming from this. So for me, this has been very like helpful to take the decision and maintain the decision or of staying with the, with the service. Um, uh, other, th other thing that we like a lot is the, 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 I don't know where you said, because this was a couple of months ago, but you have like cool, like documentation of, on how to do that and with advices. And I didn't read them very well. But I know that the marketing girl that I mentioned it before, the one who, who did all the process, uh, she she went through, through it and and she was like very inspired by that. But 
I think it's not very easy to find once you are inside the account, actually. I don't know. If the, you mean the, aca the academy or the... Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's academy. Yeah, probably the academy. The academy. Yeah. Yeah, it's the academy. I, I, I never use it. I know she did. But I think she told... Yeah, she told me it was very cool. Like yeah. She learned a lot about the articles. Okay, great, great. Yeah, yeah. cool. Thank you. Awesome. Um, cool. Yeah, man. I think I think that I think that'll wrap it up. Um, like I said, thank you very much, and I don't want to take up any more of your time.